morning, morning, Kids Alive. We hope you're doing well this morning. Welcome to Kids Alive Church at Home. I'm Mr. Brian. I'm Miss Ramey, and we're so happy that you're here with us today. Yes, we are. I think we're going to get right into worship today. Are you ready? Okay, let's do it. Why don't we stand up? Why don't you shake a little bit? Stretch. Stretch a little bit. Okay. Let's pray. Yes. Let's lift our hands straight up to Jesus and say, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. You are welcome. You are welcome. Come fill up this room. Come fill up this room. Come fill up my heart. Come fill up my heart. Come fill up my imagination. Come fill up my imagination. Connect. Connect. My heart. My heart. To your heart. To your heart. In brand new ways. Brand new ways. As we worship you today. As we worship you today. Amen. Amen. I believe in you. 
Nothing is impossible with you, Jesus. We believe in you. Amen. Amen. Okay, kids. Today we're still teaching from the word freedom. We're all the way to the letter D, and D is a good one. You guys are yes. going to love it. But before we tell you what D stands for, let's review what we've learned so far. Yeah. And listen, since we've got a lot of letters to review, I think we should review really fast. I mean really really fast good idea you ready for this yeah! super fast listening ears activate boop, boop. here we go <gasps> wait 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 well, that was way too fast oh my gosh i couldn't understand a thing that you said oh. okay what well, why don't we try it a bit slower like oh. this okay okay the letter f stands for finding your identity. The letter R... Whoa, whoa, whoa. That, that, well, that's going to take forever. Yeah, let's try true. to Let's it's try it again slow. super fast, but not too super duper warp speed fast. Okay. Okay, you yeah, ready? Let's ready do it. it? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Take a big breath. The letter F stands for finding your identity. The letter R is for realigning with kingdom culture. The letter E is for engaging in spiritual community. The second letter E stands for exploring your purpose and destiny. Which brings us to our letter for today. Yeah, that was perfect. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so our letter today is the letter D. And the letter D stands for demonstrating the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Gifts. Now, how many of you kids like getting presents? <laughs> Me too. Me too. I love getting presents. I also like giving presents. Mm -hmm. But you know who really likes giving presents and gifts? God! He yes. loves to give gifts to his children. That's right. And guess what? We are his children. Yeah. You are. You are. You are. I am. We are. We all are. We're all God's children. And he's already given us some good, good gifts called the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. The gifts of the Spirit are so awesome. Mm -hmm, These are gifts are. like faith, healing, miracles, prophecy, speaking in tongues. Yeah. These are the gifts given to us to help us live a life full of miracles and supernatural demonstrations of Holy Spirit's power. Yes. And you guys already know that God is awesome. Yeah. He is powerful. Yeah. He does miracles uh -huh. and supernatural, impossible things for people with people, through people. There's nothing he can't do. Right. And all through the Bible and through history, God loves to do incredible things through people. But did you know that he loves to use kids just as much as grown-ups? Mm -hmm. That's right. God loves to use children to do amazing supernatural things. See, kids are extra special to God and God can do just as much with kids as he can with adults. Yes. Huh? In Matthew 18, it says the disciples came to Jesus and they asked him, who's the most important person in the kingdom of heaven? Mm -hmm. well, Jesus called a little child over to him and he yeah. had the child stand among them. And Jesus said, what I'm about to tell you is true. You need to change and become like little children. Yeah. If you don't, you'll never enter the, enter the kingdom of heaven. Anyone who takes the humble position of this child is most important in the kingdom of heaven. Anyone who welcomes a little child like this one in my name welcomes me. Yes. Kids don't have to wait until they're all grown up to start following Jesus and to start using their Holy Spirit gifts. They can start right now. 
Right now, you can hear God's voice and follow God's word. Yes, that's right. In the Bible, the Apostle Paul told Timothy, Do not let anyone treat you as if you are not important because you're young, but be an example to show the believers how they should live. Show them with your words, with the way that you live, with your love, with your faith, and with your pure life. That's in 1 Timothy 4.12. Yeah. In the Bible, Samuel heard mm-hmm. God speaking out loud to him when he was just a kid laying That's in bed. Right. Josiah was crowned as king over Israel when he was just a kid. Yep. And Jesus said the greatest people in the kingdom of heaven were the ones whose hearts were like children. So today, all over the world, children are hearing God speak to them. Mm -hmm. They're listening and obeying Him, and they're doing amazing things that show people that God is real. Yes. That He's the one true God and that He loves them. Yes, He is, and Mm -hmm. He does. He loves us so much. You know, I heard a story about two little kids in California Mm -hmm. who painted a picture together. They prayed over it, and then they gave it to somebody they didn't even know. Well, they painted a rainbow. And that's all the colors. And the person who received the picture was instantly healed of color blindness when they looked at it. Color blindness is when you don't see colors. But God did a miracle through these kids and their art. I also read about this three-year-old little boy who living in China who believes that Jesus heals. And so this Mm. little guy's grandmother carries him from house to house so that he can lay hands on the sick and pray for them. Many, many people are getting healed in this simple door-to-door kid ministry. That's amazing. I know. I love it. I've heard about one community in Kenya, Africa, where teams of children went to the marketplace, to the prisons, and to the schools to share the story of Jesus. And they had amazing power and authority when they did it. And thousands of people have been saved and healed and delivered. And they even went into the hospitals to pray for the sick. They didn't have fancy prayers. They just had childlike faith. The children prayed and so many people were healed that the hospital was able to clear out their entire wards. So they kept praying and guess what? It kept happening. So many people were healed that the largest private hospital in town had to shut down. They didn't have enough patients to stay open. No way. Hospitals shut down by God's power working through children. Kids, that's right. There are kids there also who are changing laws through prayer. Mm -hmm. Children are helping to start new churches. Kids are prophesying over adults and children are teaching and preaching to the grown-ups. You know, you do not have to wait until you're all grown up to start following Jesus. That's right. To start using your Holy Spirit gifts. Walking in love, walking in power, hearing God's voice and following God's word. You can start right now. Yeah. So let's start dreaming with God. What's something amazing that you would like to do with God? Maybe you would like to pray for sick people and see them healed. Yeah. Or maybe you'd like to tell people all about Jesus and see them get saved. Maybe you would like to walk on water or multiply the food and feed thousands of people. Yes. Or do even greater miracles than Jesus did. Yes. Okay. So right now... We're all going to ask God to show us something that he would like to do through us, even while you're still a kid. Right. That's right. So let's all close our eyes. Can you close your eyes? Even grownups. And we're going to pray together. Okay. So just repeat this after me. Say, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Thank you for your powerful gifts. Thank you for your powerful gifts. I receive them right now. I receive them right now. Please show me something. Please show me something. That you'd like me to do. That you'd like me to do. With you. With you. Give me a thought. Give me a thought. An idea. idea. Or a picture. A picture. In my imagination. In my imagination. Okay, now let's all listen and look for God's answer. He's going to speak to us right now while we wait. Amen. 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 Listen, some of you just saw or heard something so cool. Now, that was God speaking just now. And if you didn't hear or see something, 
that's really okay. You will. You will. That's right. Keep asking. Keep listening. And pay attention to your ideas and imaginations throughout the day. Yeah, God wants to speak to you. He wants to show you things.、Yes. He has great gifts to give you. That's right. He does. Okay. I bless you guys. I pray that you have an amazing week full of opportunities to do powerful things with the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We love you, kids alive. We love you. See you next time. Bye. Bye.